praise to the most high first and foremost or praise to the most high sound was bothering me i just want to do a quick video up man um like i was reading the scriptures right and um a lot of y'all people got to understand this like y'all know we we african americans meaning is that we from africa but we part of the american system like we know the america we know america <clears throat> basically raised us right you understand america like once you get a social security number once you get a birth certificate you're already american property america is a corporation meaning is that everything is about money right so when i was reading the scriptures right and like i said again it's you know it's all praise to the most high always like you always put the most high first like you understand it's all spiritual the universe what you put in the universe you know we melanated people a lot of it we know that a lot of the scriptures was like alternated we know that everybody know that this ain't got nothing to do with none of that we know they took out certain things and added certain things and added certain things and took certain things off right so i say that to say this right i was thinking about the american society because a lot of us we still we we um live in america but we african-american so a lot of y'all don't understand the american culture like everything is money with america America is greedy. They want everything, taxes. Everything is America. America. That's when you think of America, you think about money. That's all. We African Americans. So basically, our natural how we are in Africa. We normally like if you look at Africa, it's like we more like everything is there. All the resources, diamonds, gold, everything is there, right? So we don't really need to chase and fight for nothing. But us living in America, we it, it made us chase and be greedy and. It basically alternate basically who we are, like who we naturally are, African Americans, Africans and greedy, Africans share, Africans, you understand, and 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 Africa, you understand, we we come from sharing, caring, helping. This is where we come from. You understand. So when you read the scriptures, right, it says it says you supposed to. It says this is the saying. It says you're supposed to get married before you um have kids, right? But if you think about marriage, marriage is alimony. You think about kids, that's child support. You get what I'm explaining? So, like I told you again, what I said in the beginning, America is about money, right? It wasn't no marriage license and it wasn't no birth certificates back in the days. You understand? So now if you look at, if you look at basically, and um, if you think about like, um, far as like, if you think about the, like, like I explained to y'all, yo, this shit is different, man. Give me a minute, y'all. This is like so much going on right now. Just give me a minute, fellas. So when you think about alimony and, and child support, they say you're supposed to get married before you have a kid, right? Like I just said. So you get married, you break up. That's um alimony. You have a kid, that's child support, right? But when you really sit back and look after everything, it's a corporation. So they making money off for you or for that. You understand? So... African American people, including me, like just black people, so called black people, we reproduce a lot. Like, you got to look at everything that's going on, right? Like, if you look at um, in the black communities, right? They have um, Planned Parenthoods everywhere, right? So basically, Planned Parenthoods is mainly in all urban communities, mainly, right? And we look at Caucasians, um, it's fertility banks out there but if you really look at it still a lot of people especially african americans having kids every time you turn around a kid is born you understand a lot and it's like every time you turn around like i said again it's kids being born being born so i say that to say this is like a lot of we know that they alter the scriptures right you have to be careful on the things that y'all read in, always put the most high first. That's already first and foremost. But the most high is within your heart. You understand? It's in your heart. It's um the person you are, how you carry yourself. And like I said, the most high judge you by your, by your heart. No matter what you're doing, how you doing, when you got a God heart, you got a God heart. No matter whether you're a pastor, no matter who you are. If you're a pastor, you still could be corrupted. You could still be evil. Like just because you read in the scripture and you in the church, that don't mean anything. Because a lot of people... You understand? It's called manipulation. So a lot of y'all people, man, just be careful in what you what you reading. And another thing too, I want to tap on it. And a lot of y'all people who who basically who who subscribe by me and a lot of y'all brothers who who are my brothers, 
Give me some information because I'm, I'm trying to learn too as well. Because even in the scripture, it says don't learn from your ancestors. They had it wrong. But if you look at if you look at a lot of things and our ancestors, they took a lot of things from us and they manipulated it. So give me some mental clarity on what's going on, because there's a lot of things in the scriptures that you understand it, it, it is, is we know that they took things out and we know a lot of things was you understand manipulated. And we know that. Um, America is different from African American society. We know these things. You understand? Thank you. So I just want to say that to say this is that I need some information from you guys, and you know, let me know how you feel on that, man. A lot of us, we we Americans, we African in America society. So the scriptures, how how it's basically being presented to us, is kind of different because. When you read the scriptures, a lot of it is on. When you read the scriptures in American, because English, this is not a this is not our first language. So there's a lot of things where I want y'all to just elaborate on and think about, bro. And it's like it's just it's just like mom bog mom boggling, fellas. And it's like it's a lot, fellas. So it's like you gotta really try to tap into. You understand why a lot of things we race and why a lot of things wasn't where it need to be at because America. Is a corporation, and when you really look at a lot of things, a lot of things don't fall into America's favor. Look at the veterans. You understand? Think about that, fellas. Look at the veterans. So it was like America don't help us. You understand what I'm explaining to y'all, fellas? So I know it's a lot. Even it's a lot for me because it's like when you really, when you really start waking up, things just start coming to you from the universe, fellas. And we're African Americans. We just Africans. And, and that was forced to be Americans. So think about that, fellas, man. Like, you understand? Do your due diligence, man, and do your homework and leave comments. And you understand? Give me, give, I need help too just to get this together, man. Because a lot of things is not really like sitting right. And it's like, when you keep going to the word, a lot of the word, and like I said again, it's things in the scriptures that you can relate to and makes a lot of sense. But we know that they alternate the word. We know that. They alternate the Bible in America, but is the Bible the same Bible that's in America and Africa? Is the same teachings in, in Africa and a word and, and, and their teachings, is that the same thing in America? Y'all got to think about that, fellas, man, and do your homework. Like, help me out with this, man, because this is a lot, man. All right, so give me information on that, man. Leave some comments under. And think about that, fellas. Think about it. Bro. They tell us in the scriptures that we're supposed to get married first and then have a baby. But if we get married, you understand? It's alimony. And when we have a baby, you got to sign a birth kit. That's child support. And that's all them making money. And then you got to realize this, too. In a crack in a crack era, in the 80s, they took away all fathers. Like, you understand? That messed up a lot of black household. It took away all fathers. And in marriage, your father got to pick the husband. You see what I'm saying? So give me some information. Give me some input on what's going on, man. So they took the fathers away. Now there's a lot of babies at wedlock. Are having babies at wedlock? Is that is that bad? When you're in a system that make you have babies out of wedlock? You see what I'm saying? Just answer. Let me ask you this question, right? If, if somebody, if you go to the doctor, right? And the doctor put a glove on and stick his finger down your throat. And you vomit. And they arrest you for vomiting. Who fault is it? Think about that. Think about that. If a doctor put gloves on and you go to the doctor. And he stick his finger down your throat and you vomit. And they arrest you for it. Who fault is it? This is how America is, fellas. So there's a lot of things we got to dig deeper, man. Into like the suck you by. All these things, fellas. You got to do your due diligence, man. And you, you got to be real with yourself, man. You got to try to find solutions out to be better. Especially being in this world. Because God know your heart. So why you can't have a great time on this earth? Why you can't Why you can't just be grateful? And not even grateful. Why you just can't be happy on this earth? Why you got to die to get happiness? Answer that question, fellas. And help me out. Because I might be wrong. Am I wrong? Let me know, fellas. This is just like food for thought, man. So just think about it. Leave some comments. And just just 
just help me out with this, fellas, because it's mind boggling and like I'm, I, I just need to know, fellas. I know I'm not bugging. All right, so a million salutes, man. Peace and blessings. This is like a um a bonus video, and you know, leave comments, man, because this this is like this is this is real right here, fellas. These these are questions that can open y'all brains up and get y'all to that next level. All right, a million salutes, man. Peace and blessings, man. Keep being great.